in the corner of this lake that's open. It's uh, just the beginning of March now. It's starting to warm up. The ice is starting to melt. And 90% uh, of this lake is still frozen over. But in this little pocket, we're we'll catching a whole lot of pike using jerk baits. Enjoy. Got that guy off camera. Thoughts are back. So what I'm doing to catch most of these fish is casting right to the opposite bank, right across from me. There's a little pad of grass in there they're sitting in. And then I jerk the jerk bait a few times out of the grass. I just let it sit there. They're really slow because the water's cold. Right nice little pike. They're spawning right now. This guy's got bite marks on him. Oh, crack. In this spot, you really just had to send that lure out as deep as you can and cover as much water as possible. Full send every time. Get ready to watch an idiot get stoked over basically nothing. In three, two, one. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I lassoed him. Is he even hooked? I lassoed him. Oh, I did get him in the, the gill there. <laughs> that was huge because the way he was laying because he's like sideways, right? <laughs> I was like, what? This fish is not moving. But it's because he was sideways. Fuck, I got a fucking in the belly. I got the pliers with me today. <laughs> I kept telling myself it was getting slow here, but it really wasn't. There's maybe 10 minutes between each fish. I was there for an hour. They want it fast today. Every time I cast for these fish, I'm actually changing the pace that I'm fishing the lure to try and pick through the fish because sometimes they get onto a certain bite during spawn. Some of them are moving slow, some of them want something more aggressive out of a reaction strike. So every cast you take for these fish, try and change it up. I got this guy on about a three second pause here. As soon as I stop it, hit it. Like, I have fun with this 
little pike. Put it back. Here it is, beat ice fishing. The next day I went back was a lot colder, so I brought my spinning gear so things wouldn't get iced up so much. And I ended up fishing a lot slower, and that seemed to be the best way to get a bite. All right guys, so I just caught this pike 30 minutes ago. I um, already got a crappie in the freezer I'm gonna cook up, but I wanted something extra to eat. So we're gonna get right into flaying them. Usually when I flay them, they go right behind the head on an about, I don't know, 45 degree angle, down and in. Like so, continue right down to just before the belly. And then I flip the fish over and run my knife right along the backbone. Man, they're slippery. <laughs> Just poke your knife in until you feel pressure and then just come back out and continue cutting along the back. You can see that mark I'm making along there, right following along the spine. I'm not sure why my dog's crying, he's just an asshole. Trust me, I'm not abusing him. He's just a dick. <laughs> I 
I go straight through once I get past this bottom vent. Angle my knife down. Follow along those bones right up to the tail. Keep pressure down on the knife and pop it out. And start working your knife along that rib cage and down. Feel those Y bones starting to come through. All right, so I'm kind of double battering this pipe. I cut off the video of me uh, filleting it because it wasn't turning out well. But here's all my cut up pipe right here in this bowl. I shook it around in flour. And then I got my fish crisp here. Put a bit of garlic in there. And just dip it in the fish crisp. Let it soak up there. Drop that right into the oil. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Those are my fries going off there already. This will only take a couple minutes. I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Alright, there you go. We got some fresh cut pike, fresh cut fries, corn. Let's give her a taste test. Touch it really good. It's a lot like perch, but like really big. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna have some dinner.